to playing them because you know we wanted that to end. But at the same time, it wasn't so much about the streak. It was just about us wanting to beat them. You know, it was us wanting to beat any team that's in front of us. And I mean, that's the goal. I mean, if you're not doing that, then if you're not trying to do that. Then I think you know you know you're playing the game for the wrong reason. You feel like the fan base felt that way too. That that was maybe the the one that. Uh, I would say, yeah, I would say the fan base looked at that more as a streak for sure. You know, I've, I've seen people mention it, but for, for me, like I said, I think the whole team realized that it was just a game that we were just trying to win. You know, we just want to go out there and beat any team that's in front of us and um, and just compete and, you know, just play our brand of football, and we'll continue to do that. If the scheduling format goes to three permanent uh, teams that y'all play every year, would you like to see A&M as one of them? Uh, so for me, I mean, with, with me being in college for only a certain amount of time longer or left for me, like, honestly, I mean, I don't think it's so much detailed in my mind of who we play. I mean, I don't, I don't really have control over the schedule for sure. So honestly, whoever they put in our conference or whoever we play, I mean, I'm blessed to play the game of football and I just, you know, love to play it. So whoever we play, I'll be ready to play. You guys don't hit the road until week six. Well, you don't have a true road game until week six. And I know there's a lot of talk about how tough the the schedule is for you guys, but just being at home that much that early, is there, you know, how much benefit do you see in that? And does that quell any, I guess, maybe stress with the the toughness of the schedule? Oh, for sure. I mean, playing at home, I mean, I think anybody can say playing at home is a blessing. As many times we do because you look at it, I mean, you got the advantage of having a home crowd, but. I mean, I, like Coach Pittman said, it doesn't matter if we play at the Razorback Stadium, we play away, or we play in the parking lot. I mean, just put the ball down, let's go play. I mean, we're all we got. Like, I always say, we all say we all we got, we all we need. So we're going to look at that and say we got the guys that we need to go win. So let's just put a ball down, let's just go. Joe, what were the offseason workouts for you? Did you do anything different, change up? I mean, obviously, you're already a good established player, but to take it to the next level, did you do anything different in the offseason? Uh, for me, I kind of just, you know, I, I think I did the same habits, but I attacked them even harder. So I looked at it and I said, you know, in the weight room, it wasn't so much about what I did, it's about how many reps. So, okay, well, okay, we got 10 reps, I'm doing 12. Or, hey, we got two sets of this, I'm doing three. So it was so much just adding an extra little bit just a little extra fuel to the fire just for me to go and, you know, make sure that I'm, I'm attacking and doing workouts to the best of my ability and as hard as I can do it. So, uh, like I said, our strength staff did a great job with our plan this year. And, you know, as we're, as we're winding down, I know they're going to have a nice plan for us um, going into fall camp. But, like I said, our, our strength program this year has been really good. And um, I'm glad, like I said, we got our strength staff the way it is. I know you feel good about a lot of guys, but there are have there been a few that have caught your eye in the off season? maybe guys that you've seen making a, a real you know, a big improvement in jump? Uh, I would say definitely this is the talk that everybody loves about it. Drew Sanders. I mean, everybody knows him. Um, he's been talking around. I mean, he's a great player, but even a better person. You know, we hang out all the time. I mean, we go fishing. We do a lot of stuff together. So, I mean, he's a good dude. Um, another one, like um, Dwight McLaughlin, my roommate. Um, he's done really, really good things for us on the field. I mean, he showed, you know, he's a really good corner. He loves the game, knows the game. And um, like I said, I've seen Matt Landers doing some stuff in workouts as far as running and moving. I mean, he can go. And, of course, you know, I, from the back end, I mean, there's plenty of guys I can shine light on. You know, Simeon Blair, Miles Slusher, Latavius Brini. Um, and you can just basically go down a whole entire list of people. But it's, there's so many people that we have that are stepping up and doing the right thing. So it's an exciting thing to see. With, with, with Luke Hornsby, you know, Sam was saying he's got to get on the field. And, you know, over the 